Hello, and welcome to Measure Square. Today, we're going to be showing you how to make patterned carpet. First, we're going to create a patterned carpet product using our project items list. Click on the blue plus icon located to the left of your project items. We can name our product in the SKU field. Here, we'll name it patterned carpet. Select Type and set it to Carpet. When you are finished, click OK to proceed to our product information. Here, we can adjust the horizontal and vertical repeat, which refers to the spacing between the next iteration of the pattern along the length and width. I have already set up a carpet for this demonstration with a horizontal and vertical repeat of one foot. Be sure to save before exiting your project items. As you can see, this pattern is split into two cuts along room one. The asterisk on cut A1 represents a first cut, which is an unaltered perfect cut of your pattern. By default, it does not receive a pattern repeat, but will receive your set cut margin. I have my cut margin set to 3 inches and applied to length only. If you wish to not have a first cut, you can right click the first cut and select layout, seam, and tile. From here, you can clear your cuts or set a new first cut. Once we have our patterned carpet set up, you may notice that our pattern abruptly ends at the edges of our room. In the estimating settings of our product, you can select the round up to pattern length and width to extend our cuts to the nearest full pattern. For example, as you can see, cut B has a length of 7 feet and 10 inches and a width of 11 feet 7 inches. Remember that our pattern repeats at every foot, so the length is missing 2 inches until a pattern repeat, while the width is missing 5 inches. What Measure Square will do is extend those missing 2 inches and 5 inches respectively, as well as add my 3 inch cut margin, which should give us a total of 8 feet and 3 inches. We can verify this using our cut sheet dimensions located at the bottom of our takeoff window. You can also disable roundup to pattern length and width by selecting none. This will allow you to differentiate the amount of pattern that gets extended to your cut from a half pattern to a full pattern. I'll select a full pattern, and as you can see, because I have my pattern set to a one foot repeat, it adds a foot to our length. Without our three inch cut margin, it would have been eight feet, 10 inches, but you can also see that it adds the cut margin for a total of 9 feet and 1 inch. Notice that for the width, even though 11 feet 7 inches plus an additional foot is 12 feet 7 inches, it remains at 12 feet instead. This is because the maximum width for our carpet is 12 feet, so Measure Square will default any overage to that maximum amount. This has been Gibran from Measure Square, and thank you for watching.